Alright, so if you've played Skywars over the last few months or weeks, you'll have noticed that normal mode has quite a big end lord meta at the minute. End lord is a mythical kit that you can unlock by collecting heads and it gives you two time warp pills which basically just teleport you back to where you were three seconds after you use them. You can't use these pills for the first 30 seconds of the game but they are pretty good. This kit's always been a really strong kit and a very viable kit in, in both insane and normal but um recently for some reason everybody's using it and i say for some reason because i don't really fully understand why there's such a sudden increase because end lord hasn't been buffed or anything like that in fact it's actually been nerfed recently up until one of the recent kit balances end lord actually got three time warp pulls but now it only gets two it also gets a pretty cool skin that comes with with every mythical kit but um i'm nicked right now so i just look like santa <laughs> oh this guy's actually gonna kill me no, he's not. Never mind. I'll unlock next game to show the, the skin off. So I just want to try out this kit because I never really gave it much of a chance. Ever, really. I always love using the time orbs whenever I kill an end lord, but I've just never really chosen to play the kit myself. This guy has nothing, so... <laughs> I think it's going to be a really easy kill. But having guaranteed pills, is, it's just really good. I mean, I don't need to explain why that's a good thing. But yeah, this guy's just dead. GG. All right, I'm gonna play a game unnicked. The skin didn't even work. <laughs> the whole point of unnicking is to show you the skin for Endlord, but it just didn't even load in. This is just my normal skin. I'll put a screenshot of it on screen or something. But I remember a few years back, um, the original creator of the skin, because the skin wasn't like made by Hypixel or for Hypixel. It was just made by some random guy and it was put online onto like some kind of skins website, like Planet Minecraft or something like that. It's released publicly to the internet. And so Hypixel took it and used it for Skywars, which is the case for like most of the skins you're gonna find on Hypixel, like any of the mythical kits and like, you know, the murder mystery, uh, like assassin skins and all the Nyx skins and that kind of thing. I don't think Hypixel actually made any of those skins themselves or like commissioned any of those skins themselves. They're all just like public skins, right? So what's this? Okay. I thought they were teaming though. Okay, I'm gonna actually show you how time ops are kind of broken right now. So this guy's just on his own, right? He's just chilling. I'm just gonna pearl over to him. Get some hits. Heal up. Pearl back in while he's low. And finish him off. And that's why it's broken. That's why people hate this kit. <laughs> like he completely outgeared me there. I shouldn't really have won that fight, but the time ops, man. Anyway, yeah, I remember the original creator of the skin sort of just getting like really angry on Twitter or something like that and like complaining that Hypixel's using their work. And I agree to an extent, you know. I can imagine it being a little bit annoying having your, your work just kind of used by like a, a massive server and not really having any say in it, you know. They just kind of take it and use it as their own. But at the same time, you know, you're releasing it publicly on a public website for everyone to use, you know. There's no like obligation for Hypixel to ask permission Oh shit, I thought my time was in my fifth slot. That's so sad. I literally hotkeyed to my fifth slot to pull. That was unfortunate. Anyway, we got a head game here. I'm gonna just kind of rush mid, even though I've got like no armor at all. That guy's dead. This is the thing with Endlord, you spawn with three quarters leather. So that's not very, it's not very strong armor, you know? Um, that guy's dead. He pulled into me for some reason. I'll take it. He had all the mid stuff as well. I'm just gonna get my fruit finder and run away. There's a helmet there actually. I'm actually probably safe. There's many people here. Okay, cool. I'm going to try and find some XP in one of these chests and get a sharpness sword. People always leave XP behind, so I'm sure there's going to be some. Come on, please. There we go. Okay, this guy's dead. Go shot. Nice. There's two people left. That guy and this guy was pretty stacked last time I saw him. Let's see. He's also an end lord, so abusing time warps on him isn't going to be much use. He's still mining. He's literally three quarters. Let's just see if we can do anything here. That was a real pearl. Can we get out and heal? Oh shit, what? Okay, he's getting backstabbed. That's good. It's not good. He's camping me. Why is he camping me? He doesn't move as well, which is really good. Okay, well, we got out of that, but we're pretty low. We have no pills left. Um, all I can really do is try and wait for a refill here. He's been very annoying mining. I'm not going to stoop so low to such low levels of humanity, so I'm going to um, not mine. But what I might do is try and play refill. So I'm going to break this chest here because that's on his side. Okay. 
Okay, nice. I got all of refill there. I'm gonna push him here. Nice. Okay, that's huge. And he dies, right? That's it. That's the dub. You're good? Yeah, well, you're not. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm really glad we got rid of that guy, because he was he was kind of scary, I'm not going to lie, with the with the mining. But you caught him off guard. And he wasn't expecting it, so. GG, that was a good win. Head game as well. Alright, we're playing Onion Ring right now. This is one of the worst maps ever. I really don't see Endlord. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Endlord would be alright on this map. I, I can't imagine, like, the time ops being good for, like, clutching and stuff. Like, it's very easy to get hit off, you know? So, like, if you get hit off and you use a time warp to get back onto the land, you know, to pull back on, you're probably just going to teleport back over the void. It'd be kind of hard to, like, clutch there. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But it would probably be good for, like, just, I don't know, pulling to someone's island because it's actually kind of annoying if people camp on islands on this map because it's pretty hard to build over to them because the build limit is so low. Look at this. You can only build up to here. So if you're, like, staircasing to someone's island, this is as high as you can go. Literally, the map goes higher than this. So maybe the time warps would be good for that. But I don't know. I actually haven't found a single person yet, and there's only four of us left. And I'm relatively undergeared, so... Especially compared to this guy. I think the time warps would be best used before going into a fight on this map. Because if you go into, like, a trade where someone's going to fall off, if you time up into that, you're going to guarantee that you're not the one who falls off because you're going to teleport back. Oh, that was such a nice shot. Do you see that? That was crazy. Let's see. If I pull here and hit him off. Nice. Okay, cool. Nice. So if he was to hit me off there, it wouldn't matter because I would have teleported back. All right, come here, Mr. Bugs. Where are you? Times like this, I really wish that we had every perk enabled at once because I would love the hide and seek perk. There's so many perks in Skywars that just aren't useful enough to deserve a spot in your six selected perks, you know? Hide and seek perk gives you a, a compass. I think like 30 seconds before refills. So if people are camping, oh... Of course he shows his face as soon as refill comes. I have a feeling he's trapping or something. I'm actually really curious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time up over there and try and like bait the trap. Okay, I almost just walked off, but I don't know. It looks like he's just swinging. I hear lava, I think. Oh, hey. <laughs> I definitely hear lava. Where is it? Oh, he placed, he must have placed it as I came in, I think. All right, let's blow him up. Hey, man. Nice, did you? I'm not sure what he was trying to do, but good. Game. So currently, the two Qs that are queuing is Onion Ring and Kronos. So I'm gonna play Kronos. I could, I don't know. I'm gonna try just rushing straight to mid without getting any chests and see how that goes. There's a good chance if there's any farmers next to me, I'm just going to get knocked off straight away, but let's see. Okay, we're good. Get an axe, that's perfect. We can just get these. Just kill this guy here. Nice. We're going to get strength for a sec. Keys on this guy. Nice. Someone behind me. That's bad. Kill this guy. I'm going to use a time up here. Oh, I, don't, I can't use it yet. Oh, i got to run. Okay, I was one second away from using it. Oh shit, you- Ah, oh, he teleported through my blocks. Okay, we're on garrison here. I actually didn't get any armor, and a lot of people are going mid. So I'm just gonna chill back for a second and try and get some gear. When mid's like super chaotic like that, and I just don't have the gear, I don't like rushing because it almost always ends badly. The good thing about normal mode, especially maps like this where it's an easy rush, nobody ever gets their chests. All my gear right now is from my neighbor's chest and not mine. It is a head game, and I am missing out on some XP right now, but it's fine because now I feel confident actually fighting people. I can probably just drop this guy, I think. There we go. Oh, he's behind me. <gasps> chase, chase, chase. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That was a good use of a time warp right there. This guy's really stacked as well. I have a KB rod as well if I need to use it, but I want to just try and fight this guy first. Oh, shit. He does a lot. He's hit me twice. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I can out GP him, but I just think he outgears me too much. All right, I have a strategy. I have a plan. Or if I can just tower over him and just get the chests myself. Like, why is he... Go away. This is my chest. Nice. Okay. That's huge. I can probably just kill him because I have good gear now. There was a helmet in there as well, but... I felt like he was going to push me, so I didn't, I didn't get it. It's just time up. There we go. That's the dub. GG. Nice. That was that was a nice play. That was a nice play. 
<laughs> I had to try really hard against that guy. He's literally a seven star. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Endlord and, and why it's such a used kit these days because i still can't really get my head around it but like, i get it's a good kit but it's always been a good kit in fact it used to be even better so why was it never used then and why is it used so much now if you made it this far comment mystical because he's he's my favorite end lord player thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time